Hey, I'm Frank Iero, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Frank Iero. Hello. Hi. How, How are you? Doing? I'm doing very well. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Awesome. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Of course. It's a super exciting time as Frank Iero and the Patients have released a brand new EP, Keep this the Coffins true. Coming. So how are you feeling that you finally have some new music out there for everybody? <laughs> uh, good, I guess. Yeah, it's good. Um, I mean, it's it's exciting. Um, usually you put it out in a P EP and, and people, um, you know, like the fans really like it, you know, or, or you know, pay attention to it and everybody else kind of like brushes over EPs. Okay. Uh, but we're getting a lot of attention for it, which is really nice. I'm so. absolutely loving No Fun Club off of their Oh, release. thank That's you. That's been my jam as of late because I just love the angst that goes into it. Yeah. Uh, so when you go into recording a song like that, do you kind of have to get hyped up and a little angsty behind the scenes or just come very naturally to you? <laughs> I think that was, it's funny because that was song is really fun to play, but I think recording it was frustrating. So I think the angst that you're hearing is just frustration. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is that because of how did it take a lot to uh, record, like many times? Or? Not that. I think I was just having a lot of like technical problems. Okay. Uh, during just trying to record that one song, and um, and it was cold in Chicago, and I was frustrated about it. <laughs> so it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah. So it yeah. Out, yeah. Turned no. out awesome. Thank you very much. I I feel like we captured it pretty well. And yeah. you close out the EP with a really cool cover of You're My Sunshine. The instrumentation on the cover is really beautiful. So, oh, thank you. So, of course, why out of all songs, though, did you want to put your spin on that? Um, well, it, it's a song that uh, that I knew uh, growing up. I, I had heard, you know, I think either my grandmother or my mother would sing it um, from time to time. And I think we all grow up kind of like hearing the chorus to that song and, and knowing it. And um, my son had gotten this this weird little, like, flower plant thing that would sing it, but okay. just the chorus and, like, it would dance. He really liked that, and he played it out until it till it died. And then uh, I introduced him to the Johnny Cash version. And he got really into it, so I, we would sing it at bedtime and stuff like that. And it's a song that I think uh, a lot of people have have you know thrown their hat in the ring on that song. And uh, and it was just something that I, I've always enjoyed, and I, I'd, I'd like to you know kind of throw my my two cents in as well. And uh, yeah, I, I love the way it turned out. Thank How you. about if somebody could cover a Frank Iero song? Who would do you it. love to see do so? <laughs> do uh, it, yeah, anybody. Do it. Yeah, I dare you. <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, I think that's that's awesome, man. I, you know, I used to think that when you, you, you finished uh, a song and put it out there, like that was the end of it. Um, but uh, I'm starting to realize that the, uh, the end actually doesn't happen until somebody else is affected by it. So um, if somebody were uh, moved by a song enough to want to wanna cover it, I think that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. song's going for decades. That's the beauty yeah, of it. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's timeless. Well, I have a couple of tweets here that I love from you that oh, I would no. love to hear a bit more about because you're fantastic <laughs> on Twitter. You really are. Uh, but the first thing I that, that we... that depends on who you ask. <laughs> well, according to okay. me, yes, it's, yes, it's, it's pretty yes. damn good. So the first one, it just comes down to your handle because it's Frank Iero Party Dad. This is true. First time you were coined that. Why did you decide to put that in? Um, well, I, uh, I was given that 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 title by a, a, a like a jump house jump, gymnasium jump okay. house type place because um my son had his birthday there and i was the party dad and i was like oh this <laughs> is like so this is it works on so many different levels and i had this sticker that i, I, I wore all day and it just said party dad. i was like i'm keeping this i'm not i'm not giving this up when the two hours are done yeah you're like, keeping it for yeah, forever you don't you'd be called party dad and then stop like you can't just stop being party dad did your, did your kids adapt to that did they call um, you that once in a while i correct or? them i have to correct them a lot okay <laughs> no they don't give a shit <laughs> well yeah. the actual first tweet that i'm going to bring up is um if you come to my house and i offer you wasabi peas know that i have probably already touched every single one of them while hunting for the most wasabi encrusted pea for myself hashtag Wasabi Safari. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a Wasabi Safari. See, and it's not like that I, um, like, you know, I rub them all. I just, I do one of these. It's like, it's like a, a flick around, <laughs> and you're like, you're, you're like kind of like over them, like breathing on them all, and like flicking around and looking for them. And then here's the thing, you find it, and then you eat that one, and then, then you have to go for number two. And you might have already passed it, so you have it's to touch the them all, all again. again. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a never-ending safari of wasabi. The next one I have is, my kids made a list of things daddy hates. So far, it's one lying, two pretending you can't do something I know you can do, right. and three paper straws. Yeah. Four, snow. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, I fucking off, hate snow, man. Off, coming uh, here must have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. Like, we have a lot of friends that are playing today, and that is, uh, you know, a, a great thing, but... They have gonna have to come to Jersey. <laughs> I think <laughs> after this, this was how we, you know, it wasn't that bad of a ride. And then the last hour, it just started. Yeah, it's to been like, coming down. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that last hour took like three and a half hours. And I was, oh no, no, <laughs> this is like America's Russia. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the paper.
paper straws. I've actually never like used a paper straw. Oh my straw. god! I didn't know that was a thing. <sighs> it's a yeah. It's a it's an evil thing. It's it's terrible. Uh, they 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 have them exclusively at the uh, Animal Kingdom Disney Animal Kingdom because oh, okay. I guess they're worried about animals having plastic, beverages in yeah. plastic <laughs> in a very convenient way. They want animals to suffer, uh, so they they give them to you and it's hard. I had this thing that it, not only do I think that they're just a terrible, they're not invented well or, or work, you know used well, but uh, I can't. Man, thinking about it makes me crazy. But like even like, it's tooth, riled like up. yeah, like toothpicks. Um, any like a wood stir for coffee, um, paper straws, things like that. They make my skin crawl. I if I, they come near my mouth like I almost. Is it the like, texture? I don't know what it is. Okay. I don't know what it is. But there's certain things too I can't I can't touch. I don't know. if This is like a weird thing <laughs> only in my world. But I have like a weird thing with textures and and feelings of things like yeah. Okay. It's making me really crazy right now. Think about it. <laughs> Well, we'll get away from paper straws. Sorry, yeah. No, yeah. don't. Don't be no, sorry. No, but that's, that's a very true statement. That, yeah, <laughs> paper straws are, oh, I can't deal with it. Well, we listed off four things that you can't stand there. What would the fifth thing be on that list? Uh, we, I, we, this eventual, like, we, we started tweeting about the other things. Baby corn's up there. Um, I, <laughs> I don't, um, mushrooms, I don't, I don't really like mushrooms a lot. Um, oh, uh, the, the fact that you, you can go into a Barnes & Noble and, and order a Starbucks coffee, but if you have a Starbucks card, they won't accept it there because uh, technically they're not Starbucks. Oh, that makes no sense. It just no doesn't sense. make any goddamn sense to me. Um, yeah, Th those are all. That, That's those a strong are all tied number five. five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are tied. Those for are good five. ones. Yeah, I don't like that at all. <laughs> well, of course, we are here every time I die is tid the season where mm -hmm. there is not only an awesome concert going down, but some wicked wrestling. Yes. Uh, so if you were to be a wrestler and get in the ring, what would your persona I would, no, I be? <laughs> It would, it would probably be Andy Kaufman. I, wouldn't, I don't think I would be a good uh, – my, my grandmother was a huge wrestling fan, though, so I watched it a lot as a kid mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know, did whatever moves with, like, a teddy bear kind of thing, like, with her. Um, but, uh, I yeah, I'm not, like uh, – I didn't stick with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't stick – yeah, I'm not – I don't know. I think it, it looks like it would be really, really fun, but I don't know if I'd be able to do it with a straight face like that. Keep it together. And 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 stuff. Yeah. Okay. Plus, I, it would hurt my throat to yell that much. I think on like in Wait. interviews. <laughs> yeah. No, no. No. It's true. It's like, I, I swear. That's <laughs> I think, weird. Well, here's the thing. There's a different. There, there, all right. There's there's screaming and, and when you play. Okay. Right? And then there's the dad voice, which is just your voice, but louder and more Assertive. like that. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Like that hurts your your throat, I think. <laughs> oh, man. Do you think you'd, like, if you were to try, would you be a good guy, a bad guy? Or? No, you have to be a bad guy. There's no oh. point in being a good guy, I don't think. I mean, <laughs> that, that would just be... Why, why would you do that? Okay. It's like, I, I'm a firefighter, but I only uh, I only, I only put out, like, uh, you know, lighters. I don't put... I, I just wouldn't have... If someone has a lighter, I I'd blow that out. I would love for you to share the philo <laughs> that philosophy with all of the right? baby faces that's... out there. That's, that's oh, no. Great. See, that's also why I don't talk to people. <laughs> Wrestling 101 with Frank Yeah, Gallero. don't talk to anyone. <laughs> well, but I guess it wouldn't, yeah, you have to have good guys, but that's why they get, you know, I don't know, man. You need not, the bad this guys. This is not the right venue to talk guys. about my, my <laughs> right? ideas about wrestling. Because we have like a bunch of super yeah, big guys over I know. there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard that your first tattoo you ever got was a jack o' lantern. Correct. So, what is the most recent one that you got? Um. Oh, uh. I, ha I got, um. Um, the at a step sheep, okay, on my leg. Uh, friend of a friend came up to the show in uh, the Descendant show, and uh, where the heck were we? Maybe it was was it Baltimore? No, 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 Grand Rapids. It was in Grand Rapids, and uh, yeah, and, and we traded tattoos. Uh, she did nice. the sheep on me, and I did a little skull on her. Is there anything else you would like to get, or are you? Oh, yeah. There's you know. It's never ending. Never. Yeah. Okay. I feel like yeah. <laughs> I think I'm I'm. Looking to 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 cover completely, but except for just behind my knees and my armpits. <laughs> Those really? are the only places that scare me. Is that, oh, they're the ones that hurt the most. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I just won't. I, I, they scare me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the idea of that is like a paper straw kind of thing, where like the skin just seems like real thin back there. Okay. You they're know? just gonna go right through. That's the. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like I don't. Yeah. I don't want that. Okay. Like, ever. But I also know it's gonna look real weird. <laughs> you're just, just, yeah. You're just wearing shorts like, and you're these two circles. lines. Yeah. And that's gonna be real weird. <laughs> I know. Well, just to wrap things up, is there anything you would like to leave with the fans we'll be viewing? Just any parting words? Oh, man. Um, yeah, don't tell any wrestlers what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
I want to say thank you so much uh, yeah. for joining me. No, it was my pleasure. Thank you. Of course. And remember, to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.